In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I fade and cut my hair from the beginning to the end with all the useful tips and tricks you will need. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. So right here, we're going to be putting in our bald line. We want to make sure we have no guards on the clipper and make sure that the lever is closed to cut off as much hair as possible. You want to start the cut around the top portion of your eyebrows and start cutting straight back on a slight downward angle toward the back of your head. Also, make sure you guys let the blade do all the work. The last thing you want to do is press the clippers really hard against your scalp and potentially cut yourself. Keep your clippers clean at all times and gently run the clippers back and forth on your head to make sure you don't leave any stray hairs. The goal is to make sure the bald line is as straight as possible. It doesn't need to be perfect. I like to stop my bald line right at the occipital ridge on the back of my head. I would recommend everyone who wants to try cutting their own hair to use a bathroom mirror and a second mirror to see the sides and the back of your head completely. This second mirror should be relatively big. In my case, the mirror is over 5 feet tall and about 2 feet wide. This will ensure you can see all of your head looking through one mirror to the other to cut your hair as clean as possible. Here you guys can see I'm using the bathroom mirror to look at the second mirror to cut the back of my head. Always double check your work and go over your head a few times to make sure there are no stray hairs. In this case, our bald line is perfect to my liking and we can start using our guards. Now we're going to be using the number one guard closed and going up from the bald line about half an inch. We're going to do this all around our head. Same thing with the left side using that number one guard closed, go up from the bald line about half an inch all around your head. Now without any guards in your clippers, open your lever so we can start to flick out that bottom bald line. The key here is to make sure you are starting below the bald line and flicking up and out at the line. You don't want to dig into the bald line. Remember, we're trying to fade in this line. You do not want to cut the line. Flick from below the line up and out so the hair you cut flares out and makes the fade look extra clean. With 
the number two guard closed, we're gonna start to cut off all the bokeh hair on the side of our head. We wanna use the same technique as we did when flicking out the bald line. Go up about half an inch to about three quarters of an inch and then flick out to give your hair that nice flared out look. This will make fading in the number two guard even easier when we start cutting with our thinning shears. Alright, this is honestly my favorite part of the haircut. Using your number one guard with the lever open, start to fade in that middle line below where you just cut with the number two guard closed. This guard does wonders and really makes the fade feel extra crispy. If you guys are liking this video so far, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm all about do-it-yourself work and saving money as much as possible without taking any quality away from the work I do. Leave a comment as well and let me know what your favorite part of the haircut is. So right here I'm doing a little bit of touch up work on that bald line fade. The goal is to make that line look as invisible as possible so with no guards on and the lever about 3 quarters of an inch open, I'm going to slowly flick up and out that bald line again and get rid of any hard lines. Alright, so now we're going to section off the side of our head to the top of our head. Using a comb, comb down your existing parted hair. Make your part line as straight as possible. Normally a very good rule of thumb to start your part line is to eye up the comb at the corner of your eyebrow. The upper corner of your eyebrow is usually a great place for your parts. I might have to post a separate video on parting your hair, so stay tuned for that. Now with the number 5 guard lever open, we are going to cut the rest of the hair we just separated from the top of our head. Feel free to use either your hands or duck clips to hold your hair back so you don't cut the length off of the guard. Keep using that flick out motion when you get to the back of your head and make sure the number 5 guard is even all around your head. Double check with the mirrors. Into 
Now we have the middle line left from the number two guard and the number five guard. Using thinny shears and a comb, you want to start cutting that bulky middle line without cutting too deep into your hair you already cut with the guards. Remember, we are trying to remove the bulk, not the length. Cut the hair until the middle line is completely faded in. So I always like to do two things when using my thinning shears. Number one is to cut the hair that you pull upward with the comb. Always start below that middle line and cut into the bulk. And number two, once the comb is pulled above that middle line after you've cut it, put your thinning shears below the comb and cut the bulk as it falls back into place on the side of your head. Try to maintain a relatively slow comb speed so you have time to cut that bulk with your thinning shears. Boy, this cut's looking fresh so far. Now using your smaller beard trimmer, I always like to cut off the hard hairline around the back of my head to give that fade a much cleaner look. Sometimes the clippers don't cut deep enough, so using the beard trimmer, I know for a fact that hard line will be faded in. Now you've completely faded your hair. We're going to start cutting the length on top of our head. The first thing you want to do is wet your hair completely. You don't want any dry spots. Once the hair is completely wet, just use your hands to wring out any excess water. Then dry your hands so that your cutting shears and comb don't slip out of your hand. Comb all of your hair straight down and start cutting your fringe in a straight line across your forehead. So my hair was about 5 inches before cutting it and I usually cut my hair just above my eyebrows which usually leaves my hair between two to two and a half inches in length. All right, so now we're gonna section off our hair into two sections, combing all the hair completely sideways. When you begin cutting, make sure you angle your cutting shear at the very end of your eyebrow at about a 45 degree angle. This method of cutting makes things easier for you when you have to start cutting the middle portion of your head. Look at this method like starting the cut on the perimeter of your head, making sure all of your perimeter is cut to your liking, and then using that perimeter as a guideline to start cutting the middle sections of your head. Angling your cut at 45 degrees ensures that the longest part of your hair is at the front and the hair gradually gets shorter throughout the back of your head. So again here, angle your cutting shear at a 45 degree angle at the end of your eyebrow, keeping the front of your hair longer and making it gradually shorter throughout the back of your head. Now starting from the back to the front, start your haircut around one third from the back of your head and begin cutting your hair in a straight line across your head from one side to the other side. Use that perimeter guideline to begin the cut. This guideline is the length you want all of your hair to be in this particular section of the hair. Now work your way completely across your head using the same section and cut your hair using the same guideline. From that initial section of your hair, start cutting toward the back of your head using the same guideline that you just cut in the previous section. This will make a seamless blend in the length of your hair from one third into your head all the way to the top portion of the back of your head.
Right here, I'm combing the very back portion of my hair upward to grab any loose or long hairs. Use that same guideline and comb your hair upward to cut the long hairs on the very back portion of your head. Now we're gonna blend in the fade to the length on top of our head. Use your comb to grab and lift the faded hair and the length on top. Cut the hair straight up from the bottom fade portion to the longer hair on top. This will create a beautiful blend from the fade to the top of your head. Okay, so now that the back portion of your head is cut, it's time to move on to the middle section of your head. Grab the next section toward the front of your head and use that perimeter guideline to cut off the length. Do the exact same thing as before and cut straight across your head using that guideline. Now that the middle section is cut, we want to make sure everything from that section was cut evenly. Run your comb throughout your hair and push it back into the previous section to cut any long or loose hairs using that same guideline. We want to do the exact same thing for the front of your head. Use that guideline from when we cut the fringe to begin cutting off the excess length at the front of your head. I also like to comb my hair from the part line and pull the hair straight up from there to make sure I'm cutting the hair along the same perimeter guideline. The key to cutting the top of your hair is to always double check your work. Comb your hair from left to right and then right to left to make sure both sides are completely even. Right here you can see that I'm using a technique known as point cutting. This technique is great for cutting off bulky sections of the hair along with cutting the length you need off. Point cutting is also a great way to add texture to your hair and give it a more natural look. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I wanna give a shout out to the YouTube channel Instinct for the Fire soundtrack. I'll leave his link in the description below. Also, check out my facial hair grooming video if you found this video helpful and has motivated you to give cutting your hair a shot. But that's all I have for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.